Thank you and welcome to um, the Illuminated Garden with Dino Viber. And we're here to celebrate your new book, Moments, Magic, Miracles, and Martinis. So why the name of this book? What does this name or this title mean to you in this book? Sure. So first of all, thanks for having me. And uh, so Moments, I came up with the title because it's not about the big events in your life, but it's really about the moments and the spaces in between that have the greatest impact on your own personal transformation. And what caused the book? What was it that in your life you said, you know, now's the time for me to write a book? It's a big endeavor. So what was it that caused that for you? Sure. So one day I was on the phone with my personal coach, personal life coach, and I said, you know, I'm thinking one day I might write, like to write a book. And, I, and then I said, uh-oh, now I have to do it right because I declared it and I decided to write a book. He said, yep, you decided. So I knew it was time for me to write a book about my journey. And what does this book mean to you? And what do you hope that it means to someone else? Sure. So really, I, I wrote this book as a collection of short stories about my own personal transformation following uh, following divorce, and whether you like it or not, or wanted your divorce or not, it just plain sucks. And um, so I wanted to really inspire people who were going through times of uncertainty, and just to give them that sense that, that they can do it too, and uh, move forward. What place do you think that's coming yeah. from? Yeah, so I think it's coming you know, from my soul and from my spirit, and I finally realized that I had this, uh, this life purpose to serve others, in their journey, and that there was something much bigger than me that was speaking through me. And I came to discover it was, it was the universe um, allowing me uh, to get to a different place. Now, you're a career woman in a corporate environment, which is a male-dominated environment. You raised three daughters of your own. What, is it, what do you think this means for you as a woman to come out with your own book? And, and what do you think it would mean to other women that you've taken this kind of stance about moments in their lives and what does that mean? Sure. So I think, you know, I, I spend a lot of my time mentoring women of all ages in their careers and I want them to have strength and have courage that even if the environment that you're in doesn't look like you and act like you, that you have a voice. and. And then in particular for my daughters, that they know that they have a voice and, and that they can, they can succeed uh, in, in the world. Um, and if they just slow down and be present, that they'll be able to, to create their own path. So I'm going to ask you a few questions. And I just want your honest responses on what some of these things may mean to you and your own definition. Right? Um, when I say the law of impermanence. What does that mean to you? Mm -hmm. So impermanence means obviously it's, it's not permanent and makes you feel like all my time is borrowed, that something larger than me is, uh, is giving me time. And so hence the name moments, that I'm going to live each moment because I don't know, it may be my last, and that someone else is giving me that time and, uh, and to slow down and appreciate whatever comes my way. And when I say peace, what do you envision as peace? What's peace mean to you? Mm -hmm. Peace, first of all, I find peace at the beach. <laughs> um, and so peace means to me truly loving yourself, and you have to love yourself first. And it's being okay with making mistakes because that's really where you have you find your transformation um, is when you make mistakes and so being at peace not worrying about what other people think of you and and doing what what means the most to you in your journey so more about the vision of yourself than the vision of others mm -hmm. absolutely right? and harmony in your mm -hmm. life right being harmonious with yourself absolutely right and if you had one message that someone would get from your book as they put the book down, mm -hmm. now you, you go over many topics within your book, uh, 
give me a short list of topics that are in your book right now that someone might see if they bought your book today. Sure. So we can easily scan through what I call the table of disciplines instead of the table of contents. And really key messages, I'd say one of the key keys that I've mentioned here already today is really about slowing down. Because when you slow down enough, you'll actually find magic that's just tucked under things and that's hidden. If you think about, you know, a cloudy day, look for the silver lining because that's where you're going to find the magic and you're going to find the miracle. So when you put it down to know that you may feel uncertain, but if you slow down, you're going to find certainty in the magic that's there beneath it. That's great. So any other topics that you touch on this book that someone might be surprised to see or read or feel? Yeah, so, you know, I think, as I mentioned, anybody who's going through in certain times, whether it be health-related, my father suffers from Lewy body dementia, so it's a um, pretty tough thing to watch your parents suffer through that, one who's dying and the other one who's watching their spouse of 57 years, you know, uh, dying before them. Um, any type of medical illness that you might encounter. Um, IBS is something I've suffered from for nearly my whole life. And I speak to that and how you overcome shame that might be associated with it. So touching upon that and, the, and then certainly several stories around those parenting moments of how do you parent better simply by slowing down and, uh, and, and, and being okay with, uh, with uncertainty with your children. Fantastic. Where can they buy your book? It can be found um, today uh, on Amazon, uh, both in Kindle as well as it can be pre-ordered uh, for in paperback. And it will be released in uh, May 20th, 2016, and then it will be uh, in future available in bookstores as well. Now that's being released by which publisher? So the publisher is my own uh, publishing house, which is Turtle Spirit Press. Well, that's impressive. Now why Turtle? What, what is it about the turtle? And and this book. Yeah, so I've been fascinated with turtles for years and when I kind of dug into what the meaning of turtle is, it has just amazing symbolism and turtle is meant to uh, symbolize wisdom, motherhood, and a free flow of energy and letting the world and the universe take you on your journey and creates magic and it creates magical moments. And that's actually what, uh, what defines a sea turtle. And it's not an accident that, uh, that that's what my book is about. I'd say, you know, one of the things really that, that drove me to write this was tearing down the walls that we all create because we're scared. And, you know, we hide behind a wall. And there's no windows in, but there's no windows out. So if you tear that wall down, you can actually see and be seen. And, and once you see, you can never unsee. That's Fantastic. the message. That is a great message. Sorry to talk over you. That was a great message. Thanks. I love that. Um, and so thank you for joining us today. It was great to have you. And uh, you know, we met via Twitter. And uh, we wish you continued success. Thank you. Thanks for having me.